Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chetali Bagh, uh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live from Aero MRO 2022 being held at New Delhi. I am right now at the stall of Jewels and Vector Technorium and privileged to have with me Ben Pritchard, the Regional Sales Manager with Jewels, and Anirban Bhattacharya, who is the Managing Director with Vector Technorium. It's a pleasure to have you both with me, gentlemen, at the chat room. Thank you so much. So we begin with uh, Ben. Yes. Welcome to India, Thank of course. Everyone. So Ben, tell us something about Jewels and what exactly Jewels is doing. They're your work, your um, your uh, your uh, projects that you are doing in India right now. So uh, Jewels is really the largest aircraft hangar door manufacturer in the world. Uh, we're based from uh, Bedfordshire in the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm the regional sales manager for the Middle East, Indian subcontinent, um, and we're, we're privileged to have been awarded the um, a project here in Delhi, uh, which will be the largest hangar in India, uh, and of course the largest aircraft hangar doors to ever have been supplied into to India. Uh, working along with our partners from Vector Technorium, um, who have pushed these projects forward and um, have now put us in a position where we're confident um, to, to expand in the Indian MRO market. Great. So, right now, I'll go come back to you, uh, Mr. Patracharya. Which is that they said that the projects which are being conducted in India, how is uh, Vector Vector collaborating with that? Thanks, Chaitali. Good to meet you here at this event. Vector Technorium is a one-stop solution for the entire infrastructure business. So we offer a one-stop solution which powers hangers, hangar doors, maintenance docking systems, line maintenance, step ladders, and trestles, and going all the way to other ground support equipment and ground handling equipment like tugs, pushback tugs, and tow tugs. Uh, the hangar door is a very, very key component for the Indian MRO sector, given the fact that many hangars which have been built over the past many, many years were built without a door in place. Given the fact that the Indian MRO industry is gearing up to match and challenge the global opportunities available, which thus necessitates that these facilities will eventually be improved under the ESA CAR 145 regulation, which in turn then makes it mandatory to have a hangar door. And that's where partnering with Jewish stores, we have, as Ben mentioned, we have acquired the biggest project that's probably not just biggest, but I would rather say probably the most prestigious project that can ever happen in India. Uh, unfortunately, I need to keep the details of the project confidential for the moment, but I'm sure the whole world will get to see it and know about it once the project is done, commissioned, and handed over to the end users. So, um, at Vector Technorium, the fact uh, is that we pride on two aspects. Number one, we respect and maintain the intellectual property rights of all our OEM collaborations, thus ensuring that all their engineering know-how, all their ideas are absolutely 100% safe with me and goes with me to the grave. No leakage whatsoever from our devices. That's one. Number two, to meet the Make in India criteria of say anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of local manufacturing, we have our own manufacturing facility at Hyderabad, and that's where we are going to deliver all the world-class manufacturing standards at par with what Jewish stores should expect from us, as much as all our other overseas and global OEMs. So that's the true value add which Vector brings to this relationship that we have. Great. Now, uh, Ben, as I see, um, the company Jewish is a British company. Now, you have been doing work which has been in Dubai, in many other, I mean, all the places, uh, all the, all over the world. So, 
what is the kind of difference? What what are the good and bad? Let me put it in this way: the good and bad things that you find, something which is lacking, and something which is really good that you haven't seen in other places and the, uh, the other hangars around the world, and that which are there in India. If I ask you to differentiate in that, yeah, I, I mean, here in India now, there is a lot of excitement with regards to the MRO industry. Perhaps more here now than than we can see anywhere else in the world. And we see a lot of potential here. There's a lot of investment coming into the MRO and the aviation industry here in India. And we feel that now is the right time for ourselves to start bringing our expertise and our quality into the region and that it's not just accepted but it's appreciated by the end users and your main airlines, military, navy, they can actually see the benefits of having a world class hangar door system with the best quality in the world here in India now um, and, and on those facilities be it new buildings or even existing hangars. We can complement each and every project that is tendered um, around, around India. Right. So, do you see this concept of Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat? It is a concept which uh, re reduces the technical challenges that foreign companies face when they want to do business in India, or it is just to uh, give more upliftment to the Indian companies? I think it's fantastic. You know, um, ensuring that the expertise comes from from Jews, but we can educate. Um, people within India to support Jews and to deliver the same quality that we would expect any, for, for, for any project in, in any part of the world um, and to be able to reinvest back into India um, I think is, is, is fantastic for, for everyone that's involved. Coming to you, um, Mr. Bhattacharya, you, when you spoke about your facility in Hyderabad and you said that 40 to 60 percent is being indigenous, it's all the spare parts and everything. Uh, what about the rest of the, let's say 60 percent is indigenous, what about the rest of the 40 percent? You are well, importing... The, the 40 to 60 percent indigenous is from a product to product. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we have had, we are looking at a project in which the demand is for only 50%, whereas we have, we will go to the extent of doing nearly 73, 74% of localization. Now, when it comes to localization, uh, it's an interest, uh, interesting mix of what that localization means. So localization would on one side obviously mean that there is a manufacturing capacity. There is a, a capability to undertake the entire installation as per the OEM standards. Post which there is uh, going to be a service part of the post sale service and hand on the customer until the lifespan of the new product. So it's not just the manufacturing part which forms a part of the localization, it's also the, the installation, commissioning services, and the post sale services, which all come under that. So, this life cycle, or, this, or rather the learning curve that we are all going to experience now, going ahead, is going to look at all these new aspects, you know, sorry, from manufacturing, installation, commissioning, post sale service, spare parts, and eventually, probably at a certain point of time, we we'll also go ahead with uh, the indigenization efforts by the particularly the defense forces, uh, which is also an area in which Vector is working. Right. You started with the manufacturing part. What about, uh, is, there a, is there a technology exchange or the uh, research and development exchange as well with these companies that you are working with? Yes, there would absolutely have to be a research. For example, uh, the standards that we have in India mm -hmm. for, say, steel sections, is many a times vastly different from what uh, overseas company is, is accustomed to. So when we start looking at a product in which the manufacturing will be done in India, 
by default it necessitates that the, the overseas OEM has to work as per the Indian steel standards. Exactly. He has to use Indian steel sections in his body. Mm -hmm. So the R&D as much takes place back at the engineering office actually. So that's again where we come in, we select very meticulously which company's products we're going to use and, uh, and which product is going to come from which part of the country. So, so it's it takes two to tango. So there is a bit of work from our side, mm. there's a bit of work from the overseas part of the side as well. Yes. So exactly. I mean, to narrow down my question, I wanted to come to this only. Like, uh, let's say Jewels has a plan, a project to give it to you to work with you. So on the designing part, or um, on the technology exchange part, how much is your contribution in that? Let's say two to tango. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, uh, we do the initial groundwork mm -hmm. so as to be able to give the right information at the right time to the engineering office sitting in Europe uh, to understand as to what is to be used and how it is to be used. Uh, although the engineering know-how, excellence, all resides with the overseas markets. But when it comes to adapting to Indian sections, our, my personal past experience says it's a, it's a small challenge which the engineering department has always got to take up. Yeah. And uh, this project that we are doing now is uh, shaping up excellently well. Uh, I have had no, no time wasted in getting the engineering department uh, having delivered the perfect drawings, which is uh, what the customer is. I would rather say the customer has has given me a feeling that they have never seen that quality in the That's great. Finally, gentlemen, my question on Aero Model 2022. It's a 10th edition this year. So, how has been these two days for your for on experience my side, here? Uh, yesterday evening's award show was. I could see it had a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. A journey which uh, Kulanda, Mr. Kulak Sen started with the other stalwarts of the industry, uh, Mr. Ravi Menon, Mr. Bharat Kalkani and all that. They are uh, stalwarts of the industry. The journey that has started 10, 12 years back has shaped up so well. Uh, and the kind of prestige value attached to this event uh, was something that we experienced for the first time. And it's for the first time that we have uh, as a company attended this kind of uh, event under the MRO Association as umbrella. We look forward to being part of these in the next years as we have come. Ben, your experience is and your version will be very important for us since you are coming from yes, <laughs> From the Western world. As Annabelle mentioned, this is the first time we've, we've done such an exhibition. So yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but I've, I've been overwhelmed with um, the not just the amount of people that have visited, but the, the actual quality of the people that have, have come in and spent time to discuss my products, Annabelle's products, um, and you can you can really feel the great buzz about the place, you know, when you talk to people, everyone's very excited about what the future holds here in, in India and, and certainly in the this MRO sector. So, um, yeah, we look forward to coming back again. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thanks for this valuable time that you have given to us. And we really look forward to meet you both in next of the shows and next places. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Chetan. And all the best from ADA. Thanks. Thanks.